What it do, Little Rock family? It's your boy, Little Rock, and we're back with another video. Oh, I like how that sounds. Let me say it again. We're back with another video. All right, so now we got this video that somebody requested, and I told you I was going to come back for more reaction videos for you guys, and I meant it. I kept my word. So now we're going to get to this. I don't know if it's a female or a male, but they told me this. They said, react to this video. It's called Everything Wrong With Canon, This by Crit. So I'm going to look at that, and we're going to get to that reaction video for that. And that's for you, all right? His name is uh, Bad Meets Evil. That's the person that requested that. So we're going to get to this video. Enough of me talking. Let's go. Kind of get into it. I'm out. Can't wait to see what this is about. One minute and 54 seconds of Nick Cannon playing clips of Eminem dissing him and Mariah and various songs accompanied by Dr. Dre's voice saying, here's what they think about you a whopping 27 times. Oh my God. Oh yeah, it ain't over, motherfucker. Nick copies the intro to Ice Cube's No Vaseline, hoping that if he uses the same formula, his diss will have the same impact. But he's wrong. Very, very wrong. So true. Nick changes the pitch of Eminem's voice to avoid copyright issues. Yet he Whoa. copyright claimed my video on his song when I did the exact same thing to avoid copyright issues. So Damn. five cents, fuck you. Nick has officially run out of ideas to diss Eminem on, so he pulls the razor and tries way too hard at it. Black power Facts. in the background? Check. Supporting a sweatshirt of a historically all-black college? Facts. A theoretical book about how white people are naturally supremacists? Facts. We hate black people due to their genetically inferior DNA? Check. I understand race is an easy approach to take in a diss battle when it's two different races, but Eminem of all people, has he seen his entourage? Dr. Dre, 50 cents, voice to five thousand. Exactly. I'm pretty sure Eminem is more respected than the black people. Oh my gosh, he's more black than you, Nick. He strikingly flashes this page from the ISIS papers. The book itself is a very pro-black movement that equates white skin as an albino deformity of black skin, but on this page specifically, it shows symbols of male genitalia and a gun, and in this book, the author talks about how white people subconsciously use guns as symbols to make up for their smaller penises in comparison to black penises. It's a cool idea and all, and almost a really good diss, but this is a theoretical opinionated book exactly. that has several holes in its plot. It exactly. says some pretty outlandish things about white people and their subconscious and how people of color can be racist and changes the term of racism completely from the scientific definition. It's a very one-sided argument book that fits in Nick's narrative perfectly. It would be like Eminem responding, holding a book that talks about how black people are subconsciously doing something in reference to white people because that's the author's specific belief system. It's a very interesting read, though, but it shows how Nick is trying way too hard to make this a race issue. Fuck, that was way too nerdy for this. Facts. He is trying so hard, yo. Nick needs to stop. He's trying so hard for what? Yo, nigga. You wildin'. You ain't doing nothing, yo. You're just making stuff up, yo. Yo, leave this guy alone. I don't know how many times I have to say this in my video. And I'm just watching this, and it's just crazy. Like, I don't know what he, what his mindset. Like, like he's so obsessed with this guy, yo. Yo, Crip is really saying all this stuff, and it's facts. It's facts. Sins counter, 46. Like, you, how many sins counters did you get? He probably get through the whole video. Like, this is crazy. Okay, I understand. Like, you making a diss track to a female that you was dating. You know what I mean? I'll feel some type of way. I'll put it on the track, too. You know what I mean? That's common sense. What he did is logical. You know what I mean? If I was going through something, I did that. You know what I mean? I put my track on a song, and I did that, and I sent it out, and I put it on YouTube. 
And I did that. You know what I'm saying? He's telling you how he feels. Like, he ain't saying it literally all females are dumb. You know what I mean? And bees, they not. It's just that specific one he was dating. That's the reason why he did that song. You know what I mean? I did a song too with Jay-Z. And it's called Song Cries. But you don't hear me? Come on, man. If y'all ain't see, y'all ain't see that song, go ahead and check that out. That junk is hard, yo. That came through the soul of my chest. You know what I'm saying? I had to put that down there. It's on there. Just find that. All right. That's a long time ago, Nick. Yeah, he went in on him. I love how mm. Nick thinks he just dropped a bombshell on the whole world when this song has literally been available to the public for over 16 years. Exactly. Nick, as shitty as it is, he made the song more catchy because the original song sucks, but he made this something you can bounce to. What are you doing, man? Eminem was 15 at the time of recording this song and had just been dumped by his African-American girlfriend. Grant? Exactly. Did you hear that? That was a long time ago when he was 15 years old. Yo, you gonna bring up the old past, bruh? Come on, man. Sheesh. What Eminem said is horrific. Here's a clip of Crooked Eye talking about the situation if he was in the same shoes. When I heard what said, I was like, you know what? He's just pissed. If I was fucking a white bitch at the time, if she pissed me off, I'd be like, you fucking white bitch. That's just what I'm gonna do. <laughs> exactly. She was like, yo, this black bitch, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like, yo. He was pissed. He was in a fucking relationship with somebody. And we say things when we're pissed off. We might not. Exactly. The next day. But guess what? We say things when we're pissed off. And us as musicians, we go into the booth. Yo, and I just said that. I just literally said that. Wow. about how fucking hypocritical it is that Nick Cannon's bringing up something that happened over 30 years oh ago and he's using it as God. a diss but when it came to Kevin Hart tweeting out some really fucked up shit like 10 years ago he jumped straight to his defense on Twitter and argued with everyone what? What you say, why can't Nick Cannon's rap voice sound like his ad libs right here they're clear they have bass to them but when he starts to rap it sounds like he's whispering again what the fuck we let you be a cat in this yeah He's talking about, but wow. Cannon has literally brainwashed. 
brainwashed himself with this theoretical opinionated book. Nick tells Eminem to read this book to see that he's racist, but this book's main point is that white people are subconsciously racist due to white supremacy. Therefore, he's always gonna be racist. Despite his actual racist comments, he's still gonna be racist no matter what. Goddamn right, y'all. Yeah. Nick has spent a decent amount of bars referencing his Islamic faith, but then proceeds to casually drop God which is an impermissible phrase in the Islamic faith and mm. one of the worst things you can physically say in the mm. religion. Christopher Columbus, hip hop wish you discovered. Nick does his best Yoda impression and says a sentence completely ass backwards. Hip hop wish you discovered. Just from Moses and Coretta, Asada and Loretta. What is going whoa, on whoa, here? Whoa, like, whoa, what whoa, is whoa. the point? Of what was the purpose of bringing black history, old, like the people back in the day, into this? That don't make no sense. Like, why are you bringing them up? There is no, no purpose of that. That's what I'm saying. Like he's trying to rap something that try to make sense, but it's not no sense at all. This, all this, all this I'm watching is nothing but trash. This is the reason why I didn't want to watch this and do this. But I have somebody who told me to request. I have to do the video, so I did the video. So this is. This is kind of, everything's wrong with this. Just just like the thing says, like everything is wrong with this whole video. Like, this is crazy. Nick has become so enthralled with this race issue that he has forgotten why he's dissing Eminem in the first place. It's because exactly. he said he had no balls, in case you forgot. Told your mom, told your ass you wasn't guessing our house. I'm trying to find out who the fuck with this pest in our house. Lord Jamar also said that women in rap aren't real rap, which is super disrespectful to the queens Ooh. of hip-hop, and it's literally half of the for the reason you're dissing Eminem for, so where's that Lord Jamar diss track at, man? Also, mm. how many fucking interviews are there of you out there saying that Eminem is in your top five, yet you're calling us right here? Make up your mind, man. Facts. So, I'm assuming you didn't listen to it. I did. I haven't heard it. But, but I got top five. I still Eminem's in my top five. My number one, pop, hands down. My number two, Eminem. Yo, get off Eminem's D, son. Like, you is a straight fraud, yo. You saying all this stuff about him, and you saying he's going to top five, and then you top two? Come on, man. What's up? What's up with this, yo? What? Yo, I don't understand this. I, yo, I don't want to do no more video of this, yo. I really don't, but this is what y'all want. That's what y'all requested, but I have to do it. Eminem is, he's not going to respond to you, man. Just cut it quits, yo. Nick Cannon needs to stop, yo. Put this shit on a body bag and just let that thing ride on the cell and let it go. You know what I'm saying? Sheesh. like one this is the second pre-course and the third course and nick says more words in the pre-course than he does in his actual verses and eminem says more words than nick cannon all together nick says anybody supporting eminem because he's white is now considered an uncle tom and uh, i know a lot of people who are not gonna and we work for uncle school. tom yo what you saying how you getting paid? It's to them. In Tardy. In defense, you didn't give him an actual date to come on the show, and you can't RSVP to something that doesn't have an actual date. Also, this reminds me of this clip from South Park. I'm going out. <laughs> Yo, final tab. 80. Damn. Oh, guys. This video... I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I just want to be done with this. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything in this video is wrong. It's wrong because Nick sucks. 
videos he did, the music he did, sucks. Nobody can compare to Eminem and Nick Cannon. Eminem is, is to the top. You know what I'm saying? Nick just need to stop, yo. This is not going anywhere, yo. It's not going nowhere, yo. This, this is crazy. I can't believe I took the time to actually go on through this and see how it is. Like, Crip, everything he's saying in this video is straight facts. Real. Like, everything he's saying is it's just crazy. Like, it doesn't make sense. You talking about you rapping, going against Eminem. You're not even saying nothing about Eminem. You're just saying all the past that he did and everything else. And then... Don't make no sense at all, bro. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. So I hope y'all guys like this video. Again, like, give this video a thumbs up, comment, follow this channel. All right. Thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Little Rock. If y'all got another video that y'all want me to do, put that down in my comment. Request videos, whatever y'all want to watch, you want me to do, and I'll do them. All right. I'm not happy about that one. But tune in. We got another one coming. And we out with another banger. All right. Hope you guys like this video again. Peace.